What's up guys, John here from Titan, and it's officially summer out. Sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. I'm getting my summer body on. I hope you're getting your summer body on. sitting in the pool enjoying some, some sunlight, catching some vitamin D out here and getting active. Uh, it's important for you to share this knowledge or information with your kids about good diets, exercise, and living an all around healthy lifestyle. It's very important for them and their ongoing years. It'll be important for you too, to make sure that your family's healthy and they're educated. Hey guys, I'm Sharice. I'm one of the owners of Titan Medical Center. Not even on vacation, I'm still working. When I'm working, I'm working. That's how that works. <laughs> but that's what I do for my patients. You guys are family. I've been doing this for seven years, going on eight, and I do it every single day, 24 hours a day for you guys because I love you. So thank you guys for all the support and I'm just gonna continue working, it's what I do. Hey guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today we want to talk to you about weight loss. It's the most common question that we get. John, how do I lose weight? And the answer is, is we have a number of different therapies at Titan Medical Center that will help patients. And losing weight is not only good for the outside look, but for the inside health, like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes type two. There's a number of different things that go along with weight loss. So with weight loss, we have a number of different options and it depends just on the patient. It could be our injectable vitamin amino acid therapies, it could be our EC Stand Plus, it could also be our Titan Fat Burning Cream. Now everything we do, you have to remember, is specific to the patient because the same thing that worked for Bob is not gonna work for Billy and the same thing that worked for Mary isn't gonna work for Jojo, that's how it works. So the ECA stacks are awesome and the injectable fat burners are awesome as well, but I always say, do not put a Band-Aid on a bleeding wound. So what does that mean? If you have not had your hormones checked, and let's say you're retaining a little bit of belly fat here, you can't get that weight off and it's stubborn, and let's say you have been working out, you have been doing cardiovascular things and weightlifting and all the other good stuff, and you're just not losing the weight, maybe it's a hormonal imbalance. And if you don't fix the hormones, which could be an underlying issue, you're gonna have a problem losing the weight. And then you'll just put a band-aid on a bleeding wound and you really might just get some short-term results or you may not get any results. The whole point is to have good results and have those results last. So it's important that you hit all of these different things. And again, I'm gonna say, we don't do the cookie cutter stuff. Everything that we do is customized to the patient. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to know more about our weight loss therapies or any of our other Titan therapies, all you got to do is call or text 727-389-3220 or check out the website www.titanmedicalcenter.com. Uh, various different ways. Uh, a good friend of mine, Art, here, he, he told me all about it and then uh, did some research on my own. Uh, I was hesitant at first. It took a few months, I believe, of convincing, but finally talked me into getting, just getting the blood work done, kind of getting my numbers and figuring out where I was at and if that was kind of uh, playing a part in what was going on, and, uh, and that was it. Oh, I was tired a lot, took a lot of naps, uh, wasn't seeing any results at the gym. Uh, recovery times at the gym were taking a lot longer. Uh, libido was low, um, energy was really low, um, and as my wife can attest to, my mood swings were pretty highs and lows. There was like, no middle ground, so all those things just kind of something, something, something was going on. Something wasn't right. I didn't have completely low testosterone, but it was on the low numbers, uh, very low end of the normal spectrum. But uh, basically, talking to Cass and, and everybody else here, basically just said, "Well, numbers are numbers, but what, what do you feel like?" And I knew that I didn't feel like I did, you know, in years past. And I wanted to get back to that kind of that feeling again. So that, that's basically what I found out. Currently, I'm using the uh, testosterone replacement therapy, as well as the Hercules potion I got into recently. I feel like I'm in my late 20s, early 30s again, and you know, I'm 
rocking 45 right now, so I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, energy levels are way up. I'm finding I want to do more with the family, want to do more after work, which is a big concern. I, you know, I work 12 hour shifts, so I get home at six o'clock at night. It had been before, come home, find the couch, land on the couch, eat dinner, go to bed. And that was kind of my uh, evening routine. Um, you know, when you have a family and you have other things you want to get doing and you want to fight age, it's a good idea to just kind of keep moving. So now at this point, about eight months uh, working with Titan, now I get home, I put in a workout after I get home, and then I'm actually awake and able to function until I go to bed at night. So it's been great. Very happy. It, it's one of those things where, as I was just talking to my wife on the way over here, this is now a, a permanent staple in our life. This is a part of where I don't want to give this up. I just want to find new ways to incorporate it into my life and, and basically find ways to make my life better using the products here. Before we go live, I got a quick question. We've been seeing a tremendous amount of increase on the numbers with viewers asking questions about Cupid's Corner. And we're curious, how did that show come about? So I think it came about with uh, just people coming up to us in public or writing us in emails or DMing us, me and Sharice, and asking us, you know, what's the magic? What's the secret behind you guys' relationship? How do you guys do the things you guys do? You know, and it's not really magic. It's just us working hard for together to make our relationship better. You know, we have a working relationship, we have a family relationship, you know, we're together almost 24 seven. A lot of people can't do that. So they're just asking like, you know, what's the tips and what's the tricks? Cause it looks like you guys just started dating and we've been together for over 12 years. We've got a 10 year old. So, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. So it's our life experience basically. It's the things that we went through, the trials and tribulations, you know, that we thought that could help people. So that's why we wanted to put it on the tight medical health and lifestyle show as a segment every week. It's become very popular, you know, for the people that can't tune in. We also put it on social media so they can see it. And those people actually write us. So it's really cool to hear people's feedback, whether they write us our timeline, they call here, they text us, you know, so that makes us and motivates us more to want to put out that information so we can really help people in their relationships. We absolutely love helping people, obviously, with Titan Medical Center. That yeah. is what we do. But if we can have those mistakes and then share them with you guys so you guys don't make the same mistakes, then that's what we would like to do as well. So. Absolutely. So, you know, if it could help you in your love life or your relationship, you know, physically, mentally, you know, we are here for you guys. And we want to share that information for you. And that is how Cupid's Corner was born. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Just wanna let you guys know about a really cool peptide therapy that we offer for weight loss. So this therapy is called AOD 9604. It is fragmented from the C-terminus fragment of human growth hormone. So it is uh, basically, they take the molecule chain of growth hormone, found the portion specific to the lipophilic and lipogenic portion of that molecule chain that helps the way the body destroys fat and utilizes fat from foods for energy um, and prevents it from becoming a stored fat in the body. With this therapy, you can take it as a subcutaneous injection in the belly fat tissue, or you can actually do it as a rapid dissolve tablet under the tongue. So for those of you who don't like needles, we also have you covered for that as well. So give us a call, 727-389-3220. We look forward to hearing from you. Here with the Titan Crew and family, and we're at the Mid Florida Classic presented by Deke Warner and Titan Medical Center. So, we're gonna go in here, check out all these great athletes and all their hard work on that stage, right? And then we're gonna be uh, spreading that good Titan word to everybody, making sure they look good, feel good, and perform their best every day because that's what it's all about, and that's what the Titan lifestyle is all about, too. So, stay tuned, we're gonna show you some backstage stuff and all these great athletes and all their hard work.
Hey guys, I know it's crazy times out there. I just wanted to update you guys on what Type Medical Center can help you guys out with. We offer hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, blood draws, and medicines directly to your doorstep. That's right, nationwide, we can help you guys. Our medical providers can do a FaceTime or Skype with you guys. All you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. Also, you can go to the tightmedicalcenter.com website and go right to the new patient paperwork tab, fill out the new patient paperwork, and we'll get back to you guys immediately. We're here for you guys, and remember, Titan Medical Center has your back. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you. So we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so we're gonna. What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife Sharice. Hey. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, this week we're gonna cover what's going on today. It's the Fourth of July. That's right, America's Independence Day. Uh, a lot of people have died for our flag and for our independence. So that's a big, big thing out there. I think some people, you know, they forget that sometimes. So I just want to make sure that we're all aware of, you know, what's went on to make our country so great and the sacrifices a lot of people have done to make this country what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and 4th of July is great too, right? Because usually you're getting out, you're doing stuff with the family, you're attending barbecues, you're swimming dogs, in pools, hamburgers. hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever <laughs> it is. Um, you know, and you Whatever it is, you're getting together with family, you're having a good time, and you're celebrating the 4th of July. And let's not forget about the fireworks. Fireworks. Fireworks In the air great. or in the bedroom? Oh, in both, right? <laughs> <laughs> a good one. You know, but, you know, it's all about fireworks, too. So, I mean, you know, I mean, some people don't like fireworks, so if you don't like them, totally, it's, it's your choice. Some people do like fireworks, um, you know. There are people out there that get affected by fireworks too, or even fur babies. You know, so some dogs get, get <laughs> really run crazy into the when bed. they see fireworks. Yeah, they get scared. Um, or even some veterans, right, or might have PTSD. Um, and at that point, there are some people out there that do get affected by fireworks. So I just want to be more conscious about all those people out there and more inclusive. I like that new word, inclusive. That means everybody. Um, you know, out there. So we're just, you know. We're thinking about other people, not just ourselves. I think that's what that's fireworks so are all about. I love him. It's really, it's really what it is. So, I really do. But, you know, I, fireworks are cool because <laughs> at that point, you know, a lot of people, especially when I was a kid, we used to go to, like, these different parks and stuff like that. They used to have huge fireworks oh, yeah. shows. Oh, yeah. You know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't blessed enough to be living down here like Sharice was because in Florida, I would bet on the beach watching fireworks uh -huh. every 4th of July. I was in the street. I was holding a, sp a sparkler. Yeah, and you know the things you're not supposed to hold, like you know the Roman candles. Yeah, because my dad told me that I could hold them. Okay, not so smart. that's what I used to do, and I would just shoot them up in the air, and then like you know shoot them at things like <laughs> trees and stuff. And I, this was okay back yeah. then. I, I think you know <laughs> as kids we might have messed with good put fire. You are not supposed to hold Roman this candles crazy. and shoot them at each other. I remember like in Fourth of July, like you know, like you know, some nights, and my brother was nine and a half years older than me, right? So his friends were nine and a half years older than me too. And we'd have, like, we'd have bottle rocket wars, and they'd be, we'd be shooting bottle rockets. So I think about it now, I'm like, oh, my God, what were they doing? <laughs> and I was young, so what were they doing even let me be involved with that? How young dare kid, you right? let these children so be part play, of bottle rockets? Shame, shame on you. But luckily, nothing <laughs> happened. Um, you know, some things do happen to people with fireworks. You know, they get their hands blown off, fingers blown off. Bad mm -hmm. things can happen with burns and such. So if you are going to mess around with fireworks, please be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Teach your kids you know, proper safety. With fireworks, don't hold them in your hand. Always put them on the ground, play securely. And run as fast as you can. Because, I mean, even with that, like, you know, if you're blowing off fireworks, don't blow them off in a neighborhood. You're 
and I'll just give you uh, my personal aye, aye, uh, aye. situation what happened to me last year. So, ah. God bless. You know, this year is going to be a better year as far as that goes. Shreed is healthy, doesn't have COVID anymore, and wasn't in the hospital like last year. I don't want to be there again. So, at that point, the when she was in the hospital in ICU, ever. obviously they weren't letting anybody in there at all. Yep, and I sat so, in there all alone and listened to the fireworks. So, basically what I did was I was FaceTiming with Sharice the whole time when she was in there. And I was crying. And at that point, like, I'm sitting on the bed at home, um, and I'm listening to these fireworks go off. I'm like, all right, cool. I look out the window, and let it behold, mm -hmm. the neighbors across the street start think it's a good idea that they're not going to blow fireworks off in their backyard. Even though they have a really big they're backyard. They're not going to blow them off in their driveway. Right. They're going to go to the middle of the street where it's aiming towards my driveway. And in my driveway, I think I got some pretty badass rides. <laughs> Uh, I know I do to a certain extent, and you know I know the money that These they cost me. These are hard-earned, worked vehicles that we cherish. So okay, if I start seeing fireworks coming down on my wrapped vehicles and my vehicles, and that's disrespecting my property. Not, not even talking about the cleanup factor in my yard. Yeah, right? let's not talk about that. I'm going to be very upset about it. And I think anybody has a right to be very upset about it. If you start disrespecting people's property, you know, it's not yours to do. There's probably going to be an issue, right? right? And they're going to deal with it in a lot of different ways. I don't even know if fireworks are legal. If cops get called, I have no idea how that works. I know uh, they sell them everywhere down it's here in Florida. It's changed nowadays. You didn't right? know back in the day in Florida, yeah. John, when I tell you, at every single stoplight, there was a fireworks, fireworks joint. Yeah, I bet. And you'd go in there and you'd spend, you yeah. know, and, and get as many rolls as you possibly could. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'd kill it. Yeah, so, you know, fireworks are good. So at that point, like... They can be really awesome. It can be really entertaining. It can be great for the family to sit there and watch. Like I said, proper safety. Make sure you're not disrespecting other people's property. I think that's the biggest things to take out of it. Um, even if you're not going to blow off fireworks, it's really cool if you were going to take the family or you want that romantic date with your loved one, take them to somewhere where they you guys can share and bond that time. Like literally you guys can sit like on a blanket, wherever it's at. They usually have some pretty cool right? different, that's anywhere. I think anywhere, anywhere you can go and find a place that's usually shooting off fireworks. Yeah. Like I know the malls used to close down and we used to go to the mall. Yep. That yep. was really cool. Oh, I remember that too. Remember yeah. that? Yep. And they would like put on this big fireworks show. Yep. I know Disney World puts on a really good fireworks show. Disney, they do. A really good fireworks yep. show. They do. Um, but you can go somewhere and just spend time with your family. I mean, ultimately, when we start talking about all these holidays, right? The, you know, this, the holidays coming up. And by the way, <laughs> we are open on Monday. <laughs> oh yeah, July fifth. Place are closed on July fifth. It's the fifth, not the fourth. It's so, not a holiday on the fifth. Trust me, I wanted Monday off this? too. Okay, I wanted Monday off too. It didn't happen. It's yeah. on a Sunday, and I still got to work Sunday. So what, I have zero empathy here? for anyone out yeah, there. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Luckily, not. the banks are closed. Yeah. But I mean, you the know, banks are open on the fifth. No, they're closed. The banks are closed. Yeah. I know. I just Observance. thought about this. Wow. So it's cool. It's cool. Okay. You know, but I mean, it's it's a time for you to spend time with your family, your loved ones, you know, spend quality time. Like this gives you that opportunity to do that. Especially like, you know, with these barbecues, a lot of these Floridians, yep. okay, yep. we like to barbecue outside. Yep. I'm hoping it doesn't rain on 4th of July. There is, it, it's always like a 50-50 chance of rain on 4th of July. And no matter what, they're going to still have that fireworks show. Yeah. Like they might postpone it or whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. You know who else puts on a good fireworks show? Who? Piper and Corey. Oh, yeah. Mike Piper, Water, they're probably going to have some great fireworks. they got to have a good one. They, I mean, Corey, and I'm going to make sure I tag her in this or however we're going to do that, yeah. but I want to make sure she used to put on some really good fireworks shows at yeah. Jackson's. Yeah. Jackson's in the middle of the water out there. So that's what I'm saying. It's like it was just it was nice. You know, it, you ca I don't know what it is about fireworks, but when the fireworks go off, right? Yeah. It's like this moment, right? It's enchanting. Same, same thing as like New Year's Eve, right? It's this moment that you get to just bond or connect yeah. for a moment because it's just so pretty. It's yep. so nice. You know, you just have that moment. Enjoy the moment while you can. Yeah. You know, enjoy it. Yeah, that's what life's all about is enjoying those moments, right? And recognizing those moments. And they'll literally stay with you forever at that point. I mean, those are usually happy moments, you know. And, and that's another big thing. So this year, I think Mike Piper, Pipe Piper Productions, big shout out, and Core Arena, they're doing water. Okay? Oh, I'm sure they're going to do something So great. it's here in Tampa, if you guys don't know. So big shout out to them. Um, that wasn't planned or anything. So I hope you guys, if you guys don't have any plans, they'll probably have some good music and some probably good fireworks over there. So go check them out. For sure. Um, but, you know, side of the point, like, 
if you're looking to do something with your partner, like, you know, that's really a really good time to do it. You really don't even have to say anything or do anything. Maybe just hold them, hold their hand, whatever it is, yep. and kind of just enjoy the moment together. It's, yeah. it's really cool. It's a really bonding thing. Usually that New Year's are really good for fireworks, especially for sure. down here. Up north, not so much because it's cold. And that usually <laughs> why I have it, but. Not in July, though, right? No, in July, no. I, wait, I think we were out in when, Chicago once. So I took her to Navy Pier one time. <gasps> that was so cool. Uh, for 4th of July and up in Chicago. I short loved my it. My old stopping grounds. That was nice. But that was cool, too. We went on a boat uh, out, uh, you know, out there in Lake Michigan. That was nice. And at that point, seeing the fireworks out there it was yeah, really was cool. cool. Right in front of Navy Pier. It was just, you know, it's awesome scenery. Like, stuff like that is just really, really cool. Um, and th- think about this. We didn't, most of the people didn't get to really do anything last year because of COVID, yeah. right? They canceled National all the fireworks shutdown. shows, you know, no gatherings, you know, nothing like that. So this year, we got to make up double for oh, last year. Here we go. So you guys need to help out and, and really, you know, show some pride and some joy with Fourth of July this year and uh, go out for your family, go out for yourself, and go out for your partner, whoever you're going to be with. I'm going to eat an extra hot dog just for that. Yeah, there you go. There <laughs> I'm going to have go. one more extra drink too yeah. while we're at it. <laughs> I mean, even for us, like, you know, we, you know, usually you can start traditions too for Fourth of July. And one of our traditions did get broken this year um, because, you know, one of our friends, you know, they used to throw on Ugh. this, yeah. like, phenomenal phenomenal fireworks display i mean At the guy the used to spend like 20 or thirty thousand dollars or probably more probably, on fireworks. Well, at least like 50 it was, it was like better than a lot of shows that i see yeah and this is like right there really cool. um you know but you know things happen and they're not doing it anymore um, so at that point, you know, we kind of off on that, but we're going to have our own little family thing where me, Peter and Sharice are going to be by the pool and by the beach and hopefully get to see some good fireworks and enjoy some good weather this weekend. Yeah. So if you guys don't live in Florida or if you do live in Florida, you know that, you know, summer is rain season here. So, you know, it usually rains once or twice a day. Yeah. But like it rains and then the sun comes out yeah. like five minutes later. So just, you know, just go stand under a tiki hut or something and then <laughs> you'll go back out and then you get your, get your tan on. Grab some shade. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> How many times does that happen? A lot. A lot. A lot. That's what happens in Florida. It does happen. There's sun showers is what they call yeah, it. Yeah, sun showers. Sun showers. Hopefully it won't rain most of the day or hopefully it won't downpour. John's so looking hate. forward to that sun. I'm looking forward to the he sun. He loves the sun. See, he loves the sun. And he's over there trying to get his tan on, right. like literally going like this, get him making sure he gets under here, yep. going this way. Yep. And literally, I am like, where is the umbrella? Yep. Okay? Because I am like, I don't want any more sun. I don't want to feel super hot. Hot. I don't want to be sweating. I, lo- I enjoy the, you know, nice weather and the, the you know, pool side and stuff like that. But I just I just don't want the sun, like, beating yeah. on me. She likes know? the environment, but she doesn't like the em- sun. Yeah, yeah. I, I just need the umbrella. You know, yeah. so I, I tell the people, like, find me an umbrella, roll it on over here, and put it right over my chair. <laughs> I usually pay them to put two umbrellas over a Just chair. in case. You know, the so sun rotates. Me, yeah, <laughs> from east to west or whatever it is. So at that point, you got to make sure you're covered on both ends. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, if you haven't planned anything for today, go out. Go find something. Uh, you can go online and probably find out where all the fireworks sure. um, displays are going to be at or, or events are going to be at in your area. So it's probably really easy to do. And you still got time. Right, because it's early right now. So at that point, you can go out, you know, because fireworks usually don't happen till like dusk time, right? And, and you know, when it starts getting dark, because you can't That's like see eight, the fireworks. Yeah, like so here in Florida, it's like you know, eight. I would say about yeah. eight o'clock or something like that. Uh, if you're not planning on doing fireworks. Call up some friends or take your loved one out and go to do something really cool. Yeah. You know, especially here in Florida, man. You can go to the beach. You can go everywhere. We are open and full here in Florida. So at that point, there's no restrictions. You guys can pretty much do whatever you want to do. Go um, get your own fireworks. Yeah, there you go. You can do that too. Do your own. Just yeah. do it in your own backyard, okay? Be safe about it. And not other people's cars. Be safe about yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, that's it, guys. <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying yourself on your 4th of July. I hope you guys have yes. an awesome Happy 4th night. of July. Happy 4th of July and happy Independence Day to our country. Yes. You know, let's not lose sight of that and what has made our country what it is. We can't erase history. We can only learn from our mistakes and move forward. All right? So we appreciate you guys tuning in. Like always, make sure you guys check out our social medias, guys. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, 
TikTok, and especially our YouTube page, right? And if you guys want to learn more about our therapies and what we do here, go to our website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. You guys can always call or text us about anything that we discuss here as far as our therapies go or how we can service you and make you look better, feel better, and perform better. Just call or text 727-389-3220. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See ya.